Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Intermediate. All right, welcome back, intermediate listeners. Welcome to Intermediate Class 23. And as always, we'll start with a little review of what we looked at in the last class. In case you missed it, or in case you would... Well, I'm sure everyone will benefit from a review. We were talking about the verbs to tell, to give, and to go in the past. Every day I tell, yesterday I told, told. Every day I give, yesterday I gave. And every day I go, yesterday I went, I went. We were talking about these verbs, and we're using we're using the expression the day before yesterday, anteayer, the day before yesterday. So I asked you some questions, and in fact, I can ask you more questions. We can mix them up here a little bit. So, for example, did you give it to them? Yes, I gave it to them the day before yesterday. I gave it to them the day before yesterday. Did you give Alberto the book? Yes, I gave it to him the day before yesterday. Did you tell us? Yes, I told you the day before yesterday. So, repeat out loud. Yes, I told you the day before yesterday. Did you tell her? Yes, I told her the day before yesterday. Did you tell her the news? Yes, I told her the news the day before yesterday. Did you go there? Yes, I went there the day before yesterday. Did he go there? Yes, he went there the day before yesterday. Did she give it to you? Yes, she gave it to me the day before yesterday. Did she tell them? Yes, she told them the day before yesterday. Did they go to the movies? Yes, they went to the movies the day before yesterday. Did you give it to her? Yes, I gave it to her the day before yesterday. Did you tell them? Yes, I told them the day before yesterday. I told them. Sticking my tongue out, sacando la lengua. Them. Yes, I told them. Because I don't, I don't like to hear them, but them. Yes, I told them the day before yesterday. Did he go to the match? Yes, he went to the match the day before yesterday. Did we go there? Yes, we went there the day before yesterday. Did he give it to you? Yes, he gave it to me the day before yesterday. Did he give you the money? Yes, he gave me the money the day before yesterday. Did they tell us the news? Yes, they told us the news the day before yesterday. Don't you remember? They told us the news the day before yesterday. It was the day before yesterday. Ante ayer. It was the day before yesterday. Did she go with you? Yes, she went with, she went with me the day before yesterday. Don't you remember? She went with me. Of course. She went with me the day before yesterday. All right. Very good. So every day I tell... Yesterday I told, every day I give, yesterday I gave, every day I go, yesterday I went. And we were practicing the structure the day before yesterday, the day before yesterday. Then yesterday we also looked at indirect questions with, do you know if, do you know if, for example, are they working? And the indirect question would be, do you know if they're working? With the contraction, do you know if they're working? Do you know if they're working? Yes, I do. Are they working? Yes, they are. Will they be here? In the indirect question, at home, and both alta. Do you know if they'll be here? Is this ours? Do you know if this is ours? Can I do it? Do you know if I can do it? Is she related to us? Do you know if she's related to us? Are they still working on it? Do you know if they're, contracted, they're still working on it? Do you know if they're still working on it? Do you know if they're still working on it? Like some of the, the construction projects are incredible. Do you know if they're still working on it? Yeah, they're still working on it. Can I go there? Do you know if I can go there? 
because I'm not allowed to go everywhere. But do you know if I can go there? Okay. Should we try it? Do you know if we should try it? Is he late? Do you know if he's late? Is she in the office? Do you know if she's in the office? Do you know if she's in the office? Excuse me. Do you know if she's in the office? Do you know if Susan's in the office? Yes, she is. Of course she is. Did they win the game? In the indirect... Do you know if they won the game? Do you know if they won the game? Will it get better? Do you know if it will get better? With your English, will your English get better? Yes, it will. Of course it will. Kyle, do you know if it will get better? Tell me. Do you know if it will get better? Yes, it will get better. Don't worry. Keep making the effort and it will get better. I promise. Who's the boss? Do you know who the boss is? Do you know who the boss is? When did she call? Do you know when she called? What's the book called? Do you know what the book is called? Do you know what the book is called? Do you know what the book is called? Yes, of course I do. Of course I know what the book is called. Okay, so the indirect questions, very important. We're going to come back to some more indirect questions with a slightly different style in a few minutes. But now let's move on to the word of the day. Yeah, that's right. It's time for the word of the day. Our word of the day today, soberbio. In English, we say superb. Well, that was just superb. At the end of this class, you can say, thank you, Kyle, for that superb English class. It was absolutely superb. It was fantastic. Superb. Okay. Superb. S-U-P-E-R-B. It's, a, it's an interesting spelling. S-U-P-E-R-B. Superb. An interesting word, I think. Superb. Superb. What a superb class. Right? It's great, isn't it? All right, I think so. Anyway, it's time to move on to something that... This this is not hard, folks. This is fairly easy. The verb to read. To read. Here we are in Unit 32. Class 32, I should say. I'm, excuse me, not 32. 23. I'm behaving like... I'm, I'm a bit dilec- dyslexic, it seems. 23.2. 23.2 here in your student guide. So make sure you're following along at home. You have these explanations in your student guide, and you can also see them on the television today, class 23. So remember, we're following here, class by class, the content of Aprende Inglés television, of uh, Inglés, Baugan Inglés 4.0. So be sure to tune in today and check out this content. But uh, the verb to read... Every day I read, yesterday I read. Pronunciation. What? That's right, folks. It's time to talk about the pronunciation here because the pronunciation is very important. We have R-E-A-D. The spelling is the same, but the pronunciation is different. Every day I read... E, 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 read, read, and yesterday I read, just like the color red, rojo, red. But the spelling is R-E-A-D. Yesterday I read. And I don't want to hear red, but read. Every day I read, read, yesterday I read. Last year I read 10 books. Yesterday I read for 15 minutes. Last year, I read 10 books, for example. So, every day I read, yesterday I read. Do you read the newspaper every day? Do you read the newspaper every day? Yes, I read the newspaper every day. Did you read the newspaper newspaper yesterday? Yes, I read. So, uh, the pronunciation is very important. This is a very grammatically a very simple structure, but I want to make sure you're pronouncing it. So test yourself. Make sure that your pronunciation matches mine, okay? It's very important at home, okay? In voz alta, you're, you're answering the questions out loud. Did you read the newspaper last Thursday? Yes, I read the newspaper last Thursday. Good. Did your brother read the newspaper last Thursday? Yes. He read the newspaper last Thursday. Did you read his novel? Yes, I read his novel. I read his novel. 
Did your mother read his novel? Yes, my mother read his novel. Did your sister read his novel? Yes, my sister read his novel. Did he read my book last month? Yes, he read your book last month. Did she read my book last month? Yes, she read your book last month. Did they all read your book last month? Yes, they all read your book last month. Did you read Don Quixote? Yes, I read Don Quixote. At home, did you read Don Quixote? Really, did you read Don Quixote? Because it seems um, most Spanish people have read parts of it, but not all of it. Did you read, when you were young, did you read Don Quixote? Now, in your whole life, I would say, have you read, has leído, have you read Don Quixote? But when you were young, did you read it? Did you read it when you were young? Did you read it when you were in school? Yes, I read it when I was in school. I read part of it when I was in school. I read, um, I read Don Quixote. Well, not all of it, but <laughs> I'm like everyone. I think I, I, I have read part of Don Quixote. When did you, Kyle, when did you read it? I read it. I read part of Don Quixote two years ago. I read about half of it, and then I stopped. And I have to resume. But I, I, read, I read the giddy version, the, <laughs> the abridged. It was in Spanish, but it was in sort of a, a simplified version because the, the original version is very, very long, and it takes me a long time to read. Because I'm quite busy and I don't I don't have a whole lot of time to read these days, so I have to make more time though for reading, especially in Spanish, especially reading out loud. And both alta is very very important. So that's one one thing that I do is I try to read out loud every day, because it helps me improve tremendously. Okay, so did you read Don Quixote ten years ago? Yes, I read Don Quixote ten years ago. All right, all right, let's. Let's move on. Vocabulary of the day. Oh, yeah. It's time for the vocabulary of the day. How do you say in, in, in English? Avanzar. To advance. To advance. That's right. To advance. And pedir perdón. To apologize. I would like, like to apologize to apologize. I would like to apologize for my behavior. To apologize. Pedir perdón. To apologize. Estar seguro de. To be sure of. To be sure of. That's right. To be sure of. Estar seguro de. Are you sure of that? Are you sure of the fact that I am Canadian? Are you sure of that? Yes, I'm sure of that. Aclarar. To clear up. To clear up. Aclarar. To clear up. We have some problems to clear up. Some issues to clear up. We have a few things to clear up. I would like to clear up all these things, all these issues. To clear up. Aclarar. To clear up. Desarrollar. To develop. Develop. Now, not develop, but develop. 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 Very good. Develop. People have to develop. They're well, they're developing the city. They're developing desarrollar to desarrollar to develop to develop. They're trying to develop different parts of of the city a bit more. Okay, so now we can move on to more indirect questions. Here we're going to use where and why. So again, a very similar drill. Change, please change my direct question into an indirect question. So I'll say, where did he go? And you can say, do you know where he went? Do you know where he went? Do you know where he went? Where did they put it? Do you know where they put it? Why did he do it? Do you know why he did it? Do you know why he did it? Where is Tom? Do you know where Tom is? Do you know where Tom is? Where is your brother? Do you know where your brother is? Now, what do you want to know? I want to know where your brother is. Where is your brother? Do you know where your brother is? 
Where were they born? Do you know where they were born? Very good. Why did she do it? Do you know why she did it? Very good. Why was he invited? Give me the indirect question. Do you know why he was invited? I don't know why he was invited. Why was he invited? Do you know why he was invited? Where did they go? Do you know where they went? Good. Why aren't you in the office? Why aren't you in the office? Do you know why you aren't in the office? I don't know. Or why aren't they in the office? Do you know why they aren't in the office? Where was the party? Do you know where the party was? The indirect form. Do you know where the party was? Where was the party? Do you know where the party was? So notice how the word order is changing, right? Where was the party? So the verb to be comes before, only in the direct question. Where was the party? Do you know where the party was? With the verb to be at the end. Do you know where the party was? Where will they be? Do you know where they will be? Why can't it work properly? In the, direct, in the indirect question, do you know why it can't work properly? Why is there no milk left? Do you know why there's no milk left? Do you know why there's no milk left? Where did it all go? Do you know where it all went? Very good. Do you know where it all went? The indirect question, do you know where it all went? Yes, I know where it all went. The direct question, where did it all go? Now, what do you want to know? I want to know where it all went. I want to know where it all went. Where did it all go? I want to know where it all went. <laughs> okay. Why would he do something like that? Do you know why he would do something like that? Hmm. No, I don't. Why can't it be fixed? Do you know why it can't be fixed? Where did you put the ketchup? Foreigners like me love ketchup. Where did you put the ketchup? Do you know, excuse me, do you know where you put the ketchup? This is a very useful structure, right? Do you know where you, do you know where you put the ketchup? We're being polite here in this indirect structure. Do you know where you put the ketchup? Yes, I do. Why didn't they call us first? Do you know why they didn't call us first? Do you? Do you know why they didn't call us first? Because I would like to know. Where can I go now? Do you know where I can go now? Do you know where I can go now? Why won't we be able to see him before he goes? Do you know why we won't be able to see him before he goes? All right, folks. Well done. Good job today. We're completely out of time. My name is Kyle. Thank you so much for joining me. We're going to take a break, and then we're going to come back with the advanced class. As always, keep listening. Keep listening. It's a question of quantity, right? Keep listening and keep exposing yourself to the language more and more. And we'll be back with another intermediate class tomorrow. Take care. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.